Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to talk about uh, Foxia 35 and first of all I want to say thank you to Foxia for sponsoring this video. So let's get right into it and see what we got. So there's the box, that's what you get. It says the sky is yours. So we've got the main frame, we've got a set of props, we've got the carbon parts, screws, some TPU parts, battery strap, antenna tubes, and what else we get? We get four zip ties, and also we get a set of different camera mounts and uh, mounts for the GoPro or GoPro Naked. So. so here we've got the parts laid out. So that, okay, we can take the strap aside, the two camera mounts for both sizes, the action cam mounts, then we've got a TPU mount for the antenna, crossfire, ELRS, FSGuy, whatever system you want to use. Then we've got the bottom blade, which is I think it's gonna hold the FC probably because it's got uh, different holes. We've got the uh, I think it's 20 by 20. We've got 25 by 25, and probably you could maybe use also 30.5 by 34.5, but I'm not sure. So, but nevertheless, this is where it gets interesting because because we're gonna see that the uh, carbon here of this part is much much thicker than the one on my Cinelog. Might even be not double the size but I think it's one millimeter more. Can't measure it right now because my tool is broken. But we're gonna see later how much uh, how they compare in weight. And this is where we have the frame. You see that it has a little flex but it is quite sturdy and strong. I already use it uh, with the Foxy 25 and so far, even after some, some tough crashes, I couldn't manage to break it. Oh, just see, we've got another uh, TPU insert here. We're gonna see later for what that, that is. And yeah, those are the parts. So the Cinelog currently comes in at 271 grams with the mount for the Insta360 GO 2 and we'll see how it goes after we have transferred the parts from just a short update of the build so far I'm almost got everything teared down just being annoyed now that they pull the cables through here so now I would either have to unsolder it here, which I'm not really keen on, because usually I have troubles with getting the um, capacitor on. So I'd rather just open this here and gonna unsolder this here and gonna solder it back together and pull the cables out. I mean, I just hate it when they do this because I prefer to have the components like uh, so that I can take them from one frame to another frame without uh, any stupid complications. So it's finally done. I've got to say it was quite a challenge changing from the Cinelog to be a Fox T35. Some adaption you've got to do, figure out which screw to use where. There's no instructions, not even for download. So you've got to figure out which screw to use for which, especially in here. Uh, there's a screw between um, to, to keep the, the standoff in place and to figure out the, the exact screw because you haven't got much space in there. That was a nightmare. So, but we finally did it. Uh, I must say I do like the, the way it looks. It feels quite sturdy. But the main thing we want to know now is, remember, the Cinelog was about 217 grams. And let's see where we got now. So of course due to the frame 
it is quite a bit uh, heavier now 244.6 so that added almost uh, 30 grams that's quite a bit i must say but if i get more toughness out of it and don't have to change those annoying prop guards all the time that's uh, a little additional weight i'm willing to take because they just keep breaking and breaking and breaking and it's so annoying so we'll see how it goes <laughs> 